Thank you, Mr. Division Governor. How many of you have booked to go to the Flourish Conference? I'm going to, at the end of this presentation, I'm going to ask the question again. <laughs> How many more of you will be inspired to go afterwards? Most of the presentation is going to be given by my colleague Mitsuyuki, who is relatively new to Toastmasters. Yuki has been a Toastmaster for one year yet. During this time, he has won the speech contest, the humorous speech contest at Early Bird Speakers. <laughs> and attended the last conference, which was held in Windsor in May. So, Yuki will tell you in a moment about what he felt he got out of it and why he feels all of you could benefit from coming to the conference. Well, Yuki and I have spent a bit of time preparing for this for our presentation today. A little time, maybe. <laughs> Before, at lunchtime today, I knocked a bottle of Coke. Over your game. <laughs> <laughs> so he's uh, really, he, I think, will show that he can probably cope with pretty much any challenges that Toastmasters <laughs> throw. <laughs> so, Yuki, will you please tell us what you got out of the Spring Conference and why you think all of us should go? Thank you very much, Simon. Well, as Simon just pointed out, the first conference I went to was the Spring Odyssey, the one up in Windsor. And there were three things, because there's only ever three things in Tokyo. <laughs> <laughs> that really impressed me and made me want to go to the next one. So it's the contest, the workshops, and the people. Now, the thing about speech contests is that unlike other competitive art forms, which requires years and years of training, dedicated training to achieve say at a national level, winning a speech cost contest is something which I personally feel that all of us, any of us, is capable of. All you need is a story, a message, and a passion to convey entertainment. Raw human passion which gives rise to speeches full of excitement and ecstasy to misery and, and disappointment. And when I first saw my first competition, I thought, yeah, I can do this, I can win this. So I went home, I wrote a speech, and I got through my club level. And then the night before the area level contest, I was racking my brain trying to figure out what to write to make it even better. Because the thing is, even if you do have amazing structure, great delivery, great stage presence, you're still left with the immense <laughs> challenge of trying to figure out what the audience members and also the judges, of course, will like. Trying to figure out what they will actually approve, what they'll actually enjoy to listen to. And that's, which, that's something which I found staggeringly difficult. So being able to watch that at the next level, the next level of passion and entertainment which we saw today, is something which is very exciting to me and one of the reasons why I decided to book for the next uh, level of the district conference up in Glasgow. <laughs> That's <a project. laughs> the, uh, the second reason, of course, is besides the contest, we also have workshops. Now, at the Spring Odyssey, they invited uh, the 2003 World Public Speaking Champion, Jim Key. Now, Jim Key was a master storyteller. The thing about Jim Key is that he was only ever doing one of two things, right? He was either telling a story or telling a message. And what was so amazing about it was not so much the content of what he was saying, but that skill he had to handpick stories which were seemingly quite trivial, life stories which were seemingly quite, you know, common, and being able to pull out and find a life lesson from it. And that was amazing. Now at the, uh, the Autumn Conference, the Flourish 2011, they've invited Max Atkinson. Max Atkinson was a former Liberal Democrat leader, Paddy Ashdown speechwriter. Now this guy doesn't coach Toastmasters, he coaches politicians at the highest of their levels, or people who work for the BBC. Now being able to watch 
somebody who does that, a live demonstration of story, message, and showing it to us, that really excites me. And that's why I'm going to the conference. Now, another thing is a conference, of course, not complete without the people. And the thing you learn, or the thing that I've learned through my Toastmasters journey is that you only really, you find out that there's many different ways of delivering an interesting speech, right? So there's not one single method. But you find this out by watching other people speak and also by talking to them about it, by kind of going through that thought process. I remember one very meaningful encounter I had with an ex-Navy commander at 3 o'clock in the morning on the floor of the hotel bar. <laughs> he won't be named. Does anybody know from? Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Uh, but that's the scene. You get these amazing conversations that fill out the gaps in between the contests and the workshops. And that's what really enriches that weekend. And I'm sure there's going to be many great people to speak to. So to sum it up, those are my reasons why I'm going to the conference. Because you get to see very exciting contests full of lots of human emotion, passion, uh, the great workshops which are done by professionals at the top of their level, and also the great people that you get an opportunity to speak to. And on that note, I'd like to hand you back to Simon Cooper. Ladies and gentlemen, I have one more question. Two more. Now, are you inspired by that? Yes! Right, I now want a show of hands. How many of you are now booking to go to the Flourish Conference? Do it again. Thank, anyway, thank you very much. We hope you do come. I, you know, the details are all on the website. It will be a great weekend. Please do book. Take the time to come along and speak to any of us about it afterwards. Collect the leaflets. Thank you very much for listening.